So, <clears throat> we're back here today, in a different part of the lake this time. We're really going to be targeting these crappies, like we did in the last video. But this is strictly night bite. As we got here, we have lunch, we have plenty of food to last us through the day, through the finicky bite. But as the sun sets, these crappie are going to be moving in, in bigger schools and getting very competitive. Right now we're just moving around, uh, trying to find the right depth with our Vexilar fish finder here. And uh, stay tuned, you're watching NGS Outdoors. So as we were getting getting set up here, we haven't eaten all day, so I'm gonna prepare a little dish. We got the Coleman Portable Can Stove. Uh, I'd like to thank them for hooking us up with it. Uh, we got the bottle top stove actually. Never used it before. We're gonna give it a crack open here. I haven't I haven't even opened up the box yet. Okay, so it comes with the topper. Alright, still got tags on. There, it looks like that's where the propane goes in. A big shout out to them for sending me this. We're just gonna hook this sucker up. We're gonna just take out my knife here. Here we go. Sing into all this. Get this out. Put that inside there. Just normal vegetable oil, potatoes. The garlic salt. Take some black pepper. Oh, it looks like we have our first fish on here. It's probably set up to sack soon. Sack soon. Sack soon. Sack soon. Be here for some fish and chips. Doesn't get much better than this, fam. I just really am good. Once that second goes down, there'll be a, there'll be a biting. We did catch a few little walleyes, but we're definitely going for them crappie, and walleyes aren't bad either. So stay tuned. Watching NGS Outdoors. <laughs> Need all these. I'm gonna have to feed them to the neighbors. Cooking with Carter. All right, as you can see, our water is starting to boil, and uh, we're gonna. This isn't a very complex recipe. It's just a little something my grandma used to do. So um, first, you're just gonna get your water to boil, and it's good because I can take this anywhere. Then you're just gonna plop in two hot dogs. That's all it takes. Put that lid on there. Put it on low. Just let that sit for a while. So, like I said, it's not very complex, but it tastes very good, and you need very little ingredients. What I'm doing is tipping it with a wax worm, and I also have my soft plastic on there. So, when I do feel a bite down there, and there's a school of fish, if they were to take my wax worm off, then I still have that uh, soft plastic on there. Oh, yep. There's one. He's on me. Uh, now I left. See now, if he were to take my wax worm, I would still have the. Oh, oh. Yep. There he is. He's just a little guy this time. But uh, yep. As you can see, he did take it, but I still had that artificial tungsten plastic on there. And uh, let's go ahead and get this guy back down in the water. There he goes. So, we're fishing here, away from the crowd. And uh, we caught one right off the bat, so we th threw up the shack. 
and it's, it's been very slow, not marking much, but it's something that I don't like to do. Caden went over and joined the crowd, and, and he's catching them, so we're going to pack up the shack, and we're going to head on over and try to get set up for the night bite, and I guess he's already got like six or seven on the ice already. Maybe we can cook them up or something. Nice quality white crappie, South Dakota. Let's get that. Right there, Katie. Right on them three. Quality South Dakota black crappie right there. Hey, baby. That's my third one in a row. Third one in about a minute. Smoked it. Just clobbered it. Cool thing that turned on. My golly, white crappie. South Dakota. South Dakota. We are, uh, we're back here. And um, as we're finishing up cleaning up them, them crappies over there, we're gonna fry them up and have a little catch and cook. Um, I'm gonna throw the pole in my hands. I haven't done much of that yet today. I'm more just trying to feed the boys. And let's go. Let's. Uh, don't get much better than that, ladies and gentlemen. South Dakota white crappie, big slab. Look that big, big butt. Big butt, big butt. Yes. So on. Look at that. Not the, not the ones we're quite yeah, after. You don't want to play it like that, Carter. You can't. But, uh, we're going to go and head and catch some more. Off you go. Doubled up just like that. It's a joke. Where is it flying like this freaking big? Okay, so now I'm gonna prepare these these crappies. Got a decent depth. Are you trying the anal beads? Trim it down the spine. This would help if you had a sharp knife down. Right off there, there you have it. Nice slab. There's we're just gonna do that for the rest of them. Welcome back. Now, after we've had these crappies um, cleaned up, and there he's got one right in the background, we're gonna take a moment to thank um, <laughs> Louisiana Fish Fry Products. This breading, they hooked us up with a whole bunch. We got all these different kinds here. We got beer batter, Cajun seafood, and um, but we got this. We're gonna try out. We're gonna try out just the normal fish fry. And uh, yep, there's no cleavage now in the background this time. But a uh, huge, huge thanks to these guys for sending them out. Cooking with Carter. I'm just gonna dump a little bit of this into a bag here. Mmm. Look at them golden fillets work. Alrighty. Beautiful, crispy, golden fillets. It doesn't, I, I, it doesn't get much better than this. I've never seen it get better than this. 
We have to first try these though, but man, are they gonna be delicious. Alrighty, here we go for our first bite. Cooked any fish better than I just cooked these ones right here. And man, am I pumped. These are just so good. Louisiana, fish productions, thank you. Okay. You gone? Here's the damage done. Damn. That, my friends, is a good day. But we're not done yet. A good two hours. And to stay tuned, there's plenty of fish to be caught, and there's plenty of water under the ice.